Thank you for joining us this evening. This is Music from the Streets. Today we'll be introducing you to three different bands from throughout Wisconsin. We have one of these artists to speak about his own career and a special performance. All that and more coming up on Music from the Streets. Welcome. We are, we are coming to you from Milwaukee PBS Studios. I'm your host, Marshall Zaplinski, and there are so many music genres that people listen to, such as rock, hip-hop, blues, and plenty more. We'll be checking out three bands from three different cities across Wisconsin. Our first band comes from the Cream City, Milwaukee. This group draws inspiration from the great bands of the 60s to the 80s. This is Dramatic Lovers. Let's take a look. Dramatic Lovers got started, um, a majority of us were in a band together called Decibility for years. And we had done a reunion show and we all got together and played and we are just like, why, why did we stop playing? Let's start doing something new. So that's basically how it started. This band has been around for, I think we're pushing four years now since we first started rehearsing and writing songs. I think we've been playing out live for about two and a half, three years. We've all known each other and played with each other in different bands and in different incarnations and in a lot of ways kind of grew up together. I knew everyone in this band extremely well and played with, except, except for Dan. I hadn't played with Dan until this band formed. I had lessons for about a month when I was in middle school and then realized that all I really wanted to do was play in punk bands, so I didn't really need I learned four chords, so I was fine. Um, played guitar in bands till I was like 19 or 20 and then moved over to bass and then played bass primarily. I started getting into playing music and just uh, all my friends and pretty much everything revolved around it at some point. I guess the basis of all my connections in my life have been through music. You know, I'd hear the Beatles or the Beach Boys. I could just imagine them in the world. I could hear my dad sing along to it. I got older, uh, first cassette tape I bought was Faith No More, The Real Thing, uh, which led me down kind of a road of bands like R.E.M., The Cure, then Nirvana, which got me into more underground kind of punk stuff. Based a lot on, like, the, a lot of the sounds that we kind of influenced this group in particular, a lot of the 80s um, guitar alternative rock bands, you know, The Cure, U2, um, New Order, some of the more uh, epic 80s alternative rock bands. Uh, my parents couldn't get me to go anywhere without my little box of 45s with me. Uh, if I needed to go to the grocery store, I had to bring a little box of records. Uh, it got me through middle school and high school and is you know, something I still love and is probably something I will always do. We've been able to get down to uh, South by Southwest Music Festival in Austin uh, a year ago, and that was a lot of fun. Other than that, we've played a few shows in Chicago and a few around the state, but uh, we haven't done extensive touring as this group. Um, we're just not in that position to go out and tour too much right now, but maybe eventually we'll do some small regional shows. Recently recorded or in, um, released a record this year called You Talk Loud, so we've kind of just kind of been playing some shows off of that, and now we're in the position to start writing some new stuff, and we intend to hopefully record a couple new songs this year.
it's amazing how the connection to something like the Beatles can bring this group together and make their own music for others. The Beatles, even in their start, had a passion and had that passion drive them from Liverpool, England in 1964 and arriving in the United States for their first performance in another country on Ed Sullivan. Now, our next band is from Madison and their laid black blues style formed from being able to see their music performed on television. This is Jack and Chester and Sky Dog. Jackalope, that sounds like, I'm not even gonna look, I'm gonna look at the Raptors, I'm just gonna guess that's Chris. And I'm right. <laughs> I met those guys through playing around uh, in Stevens Point, and uh, uh, the drummer that was in our, originally in our group here is from his other group as well, so. I just saw those guys and really liked them and was like, I need, I wanted to start something where I was singing a little bit more and playing more guitar, so I got a hold of those guys and we just kind of started fleshing some stuff out and little unfortunates happened, but we're still there. When I started playing when I was nine or 10, it started just in, in school, elementary school. The teacher came down and said, you can try out for different instruments, whatever you want. And so I went down, I tried violin, cello, viola. Bass intrigued me simply just because it was big. <laughs> and that's why I started with the bass. And then it's just kind of grown from there. We were mostly doing a lot of blues stuff and like southern kind of blues stuff is what we really feel. One really good band that came out just recently, we were just watching like that NPR uh, desk concert thing on them and they're just like some sort of like funky kind of groove band that we're, we're into that stuff too. So we were kind of trying to flirt around with starting playing some of that stuff, but once we get some more time. Famous musician that has inspired to keep me going. I was 12 at the time that I was kind of falling out of love with the bass and I went and saw a concert and Edgar Meyer, his name is, he's a stand-up bass player who inspired me to keep going. I moved down here about four years ago and they're, they're originally from Stevens Point but I met them just through networking, just playing a bunch of shows. We got a bunch of original music written and we're just uh, looking to get it straightened out and we're going to be, I have shows scheduled coming up, uh, up here in March and stuff too around the area, so we'll be around. Uh, well, I play bass guitar, but it's kind of like one and the same. A uh, little bit of piano and I can do some stuff like on the drums percussion wise, but uh, bass is my main instrument. So I know we got started a little early and I'm just going to do uh, one song over. I hope that's all right with you guys. Well, all chill. All right. He's like, all right, he likes it. He was here first, so if he's happy about it, then hey, what's up, man? Nice to see him. Thanks for coming. Oh, hey, you got it. Anytime, guy. <laughs> Stevie Ray Vaughan, I mean, everybody says that, but he's just, he's just my guy. That and Eric Johnson, too, both from Texas. They're really good guitar players, and I just, those are what I watch, basically. The group that's playing right now, Cruising Round, I play with them. It's, uh, they started out as a duo acoustic group, and then I joined in with the stand-up, so I'm with them. And then another group, Soul Symmetry. We started in Stevens Point, Wisconsin, where we all met in college. Um, and we've played all over the state, different cities and out of the state. Um, and we're like a six-piece jam band, I guess you could say, like reggae mixed with blues, with rock, with funk. So those are the three groups, and then I also play in the Middleton Community Orchestra. It feels so good to be able to hear blues like an old club. It's amazing how there are so many different genres that continue to inspire musicians today. All musicians have to start somewhere, whether it's the garage or their campus. Welcome now into the studio hip hop artist and producer Hey Jake from Oshkosh. <laughs> you can, how you doing? <laughs> Pretty good, how are you? 
All right, so one of the things I think I wanted to start by asking you is kind of how would you describe the genre of music that you do? Oh, describing it in one, in one place is really hard. Um, I like to many. say <laughs> alternative hip hop just because like it definitely is hip hop focused and like that's where my roots are. Um, but I also have like a pretty extensive upbringing with uh, different like types of harder rock, alternative rock, stuff like that. So I really like to incorporate, you know, guitar, live instruments, things of that nature. So, so is there something that kind of inspires you the most? Um, what do you mean inspires me the most? Like is there one of these genres that maybe you pull from a little more than <clears throat> another that give you kind of, that think you, gives you a unique flavor or something that maybe you grew up For with sure. the most? Uh, yeah, there was a stint of time where I was playing uh, a lot of guitar and, uh, you know, rock, um, Metallica, Iron Maiden, that whole, whole era was really like my go-to thing for a while. So I think kind of pulling those more um, like electric rather than acoustic sounds sometimes, you know, is, is, is from that uh, rock background that I have. So I'm appreciative of that. Is there a specific artist that kind of inspired you the most to make music? To make music? Um, Man, I'm gonna be cliche, but just typical Eminem. Like he, he was really starting to come out. Eminem and Fifty Cent were like my two first, I'd say, uh, hip hop memories. And then just like as I got older, kind of kids doing it around me and me thinking like, why not? I might as well give it a stab too. Yeah, get them inspired by by yeah. the Eight Mile. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> So was Eminem kind of one of the most prominent artists then that you kind of listened to, at least in the hip hop realm uh, when mm -hmm. you were growing up? Yeah, definitely. And it was easy. Like, I think hip hop was at a good place with people like Dr. Dre, 50 Cent, all that. They were kind of within the same, uh, the same group, you know, if you want to call it that. So it's like you see this sector of music that you like and there's a bunch of these other ones that sound kind of similar but different. So it was just like, I think it was a really good time for music. But I think anybody would say that back in the day, you know what I mean? So it was a good time for music, though. Yeah, absolutely. Now, kind of switching to switching gears to kind of right now with you. What is the what are kind of the pl normal places that you perform at? Um, I try to perform in Oshkosh as much as I can. Um, there's not a ton of live venues uh, that are going on. There's there's a couple different coffee shops and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I perform. I just did. We did a live local music night up there. That was a lot of fun. It was a couple different bands from uh, in town and stuff like that. And we performed in like the little underground on campus there. Um, so yeah, keeping it keeping it local, um, and then I try to venture out, you know, to the Milwaukee area and such as much as I can. All right. So now I hear that you're kind of promoting new music, and you're going to be having an album coming out. Uh, yeah, no set on like a body of work yet, but I'm definitely definitely working on it. Um, got a couple of singles coming. One's called uh, Pause. Another called uh, Cheater Cheater. So just like a bunch of stuff like that, you know. Okay. And so I think it as well, you've got a music video going to be coming out for that? Yeah, yeah, we're hoping, man. All right, well, and you know what? We've got a little bit of a look, so why don't we take a look at the video? I'm having me a time tricking temptation. Only ever ask for guidance when I'm praying. I'm so sick of seeing sanity adjacent. If my fate is not the greatest, then I pray to God I make it. I'll be fighting demons, but still you see me holding down my town. Good litmus test. How do they like it? Yeah, right, right. <laughs> I'm glad. Good so now, it, you know, you've got this album coming out now. But if you could open for any other artist, who would you want to open for? Anybody. Um, At least leaving the first person that comes to mind. <laughs> probably Jaden Smith. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's just he's wild. Um, <laughs> I like I like his style and how all over the place uh, it, okay. it feels to be. And I just like like what he's doing as like a young person he's like a really smart guy and he's like starting businesses and stuff oh, like yeah, that no. so just getting into that whole thing but being able to be around like energy like that would be super cool oh yeah that and so one of the things that i kind of was curious about is now we your music and we, especially when we looked at the music video here is there kind of special meanings that you like to incorporate into your music uh yeah yeah it's interesting you say that because i feel like a lot of my music isn't supposed to be taken at face value necessarily, okay. um, which I think you know anybody can say of their own work. But I don't know. I think a lot of it is like self-reflective, as it should be. So, but that being said, like whatever I said in the message isn't necessarily like what you're gonna get from it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's just like a chance for if you listen to it, then like you can figure out like what your 
vices are, I guess, and however you wanna, however you wanna tackle those. I don't know. All right. Well, you know what? I thank you for your time and being able to join us here. And one of the things that I can't wait for is your performance. That's going to be just in a bit. Uh, however, and if you would like to uh, check out his music, you can find him on Spotify, Apple Music, and SoundCloud. Search for Hey Jake with the exclamation point. <laughs> While we get ready for his performance then, let's check out this last group from Appleton. Their inspiration is from the band Sow Garden and Nirvana, and they are known to be a group of dads. This is Leading the Blind. started in the uh, 90s and actually it was called Blind back then, a uh, different lineup. Uh, it was a three-piece uh, bass player and a drummer. At one point thought, I think I want to play these songs and write more songs again with, uh, with people. And then Eric entered the uh, picture and Mike and, and Dave. Ever since it's the band started, it was always just, they really wanted to just focus on writing and playing music. So anything else that comes up, emails, website, you know, um, if there's any contracts needed for shows, all of our recording sessions, you know, making, uh, booking the time at the studio and, and handling payments. So it's, you know, handling the finances and keeping the bank roll of, what we've got for the next recording session. So this current lineup has been since 2013 total, like the current members. And we've done three albums together and played a bunch of shows and that's our thing. We write a bunch of songs and record them and then we play whenever we can. Music affects me like I'll hear I'll hear the guys play a song that I've heard them play a hundred times but if I get goosebumps when it's songs I like so I guess it affects me pretty strongly. I like listening to new music. I would say we would just be I'd classify us as a rock band. I mean you know, there's definitely people who can pick up the grunge influence like we talked about, and then there's other people who can kind of hear that. The indie rock indie thing. rock, or right. hardcore even at times because there's some heavy riffs, but. A little progressive progressive action. Progressive at times. But, you know, we're, I think we're known for at least feedback we've received is like vocal harmonies and um, a lot of different melody arrangements. So we've just been in this mode of write a new record, put it out, play some shows. Generally, Eric and Marty are writing all the songs, so they get together, just the two of them, and they're working on new material. The band, the four of us, is called Leading the Blind, and that's our full rock and roll outfit, but we do this acoustic thing as ourselves. We go by our names, or we go by Leading the Blind duo, and then we also are part of a cover band called A-Town Unplugged, so sometimes we're known as the A-Town Unplugged duo. How's everybody doing today? What a wonderful day it is here in Appleton, Wisconsin. We're called Leading the Blind. We're from Appleton, Wisconsin. All these songs that you're hearing right now are, we're born and raised in Appleton, Wisconsin. Woo! The band will go in the studio and we have other songs kind of that they've been working on. So they will record full band versions of those same songs along with other new songs and then have another full length. Mostly inspired by like the Seattle grunge scene, so, and it always was singers that I really enjoyed listening to. Uh, Lane Staley from Alice in Chains and Chris Cornell from Soundgarden. Here to perform Desert Dancer, ladies and gentlemen, Hey Jake. <laughs> Hey, 
desert dancers, concrete cowboys, indoctrination must be outlawed. Pay attention, yeah, don't pay with tension, nah. But at this point in time, it seems so elemental. I just need peace of mind, fill up this peace of mind. My enemies are fine, closer than cheese with wine. But if the boot fits, and just let it Down to the root is like your lettuce It's time to take more than they let us I'm screaming it all the way up to the heavens Ready for revelation Ready for revolution Ready to die for something Something that I find truth in But gotta be vigilant The end is imminent Just don't know when it is Prepare the percentages, embrace the etiquette, or end up another Oedipus. Desert dancers, winter warriors, we're all alike, per the lens of corrupt corneas. We count sheep when we sleep, they count sheep to control. They always pray on the weekend, I pray that the Lord makes room for my soul. Now I'm in the numerous, fostering foolishness. We act ecstatic, exuberant. Placing pressure over push. History repeats. We choose not to see. She be on her knees. She don't know a priest. She don't know no better. Normal's a disease. Get back on your feet. Off my medication. Back to meditation. Yeah. Healing all abrasion. I'm spitting out Satan. Yeah. Shutting with the snakes and turning with temptation. Whoa. I'd rather be beaten bruised than to be full of forbidden fruit. Off my medication, back to meditation, yeah. Healing all abrasion, I'm spitting at Satan, yeah. Starting with the serpents, trying to fill my purpose, whoa. Ready for my wrongs, but don't mistake my painful loss. Ready for revelation, ready for revolution. Ready to die for something, something that I find truth in. But gotta be vigilant, the end is imminent, just don't know when it is. Prepare the percentages, embrace the etiquette, or end up another Oedipus. Ready for revelation, ready for revolution. Ready to die for something, something that I find truth in. But gotta be vigilant, the end is imminent, just don't know when it is. Prepare the percentages, embrace the etiquette, or end up another Oedipus. Good job. Thanks, nice man. to see you. All right. Well, if you want more information on Hey Jake, you can check him out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Follow him at, at Hey Jake MGMT. And thank you so much for watching Music from the Streets. I'm your host, Marshall Zemplinski. Once again, here's Hey Jake. Burning bushes in the woods so bright that space can see my head been caught up in the clouds like since I was 18. It's getting so much harder to breathe now. Am I attentive or am I just seen now? They don't listen, they just wishing I had less to say. So when I go put on the show, they saying break a leg. Go ahead and pick your poison. Pretend you don't know what you want to Low topping with high waters, yeah. I hustle like my father, yeah. I put it down like no other, oh brother, it's just me and my familia, all else are inferior, yeah. Off my high horse now, cause sober me's a doberman, I ditch my stable. If you know me, you know I blow up bag still. Been a minute since I felt this real. Bushes in the woods so bright that space can't see My head been caught up in the clouds like since I was 18 It's getting so much harder to breathe now hey, Am I hey. or am I just seen now? It's getting harder to tell 
If they telling the truth or just selling a spoof, they'll take you for a fool. Brighten up, don't lighten up, no Distraction been like my whole life, whoa Now I'm seeing differently, my demons missing me So past existence physically, what the mission be, yeah So hold my line, I don't read it Hit my line with a scene or for a feature But this is an a minor, so keep dreaming But don't believe it, like the other fake they breeding Burning bushes in the woods, so bright that space can't see My head been caught up in the clouds like since I was 18 It's getting so much harder to breathe now Am I attentive or am I just seen now? They don't listen, they just wishing I had less to say So when they go put on a show, they say and break a leg Go ahead and pick your poison Or do and enjoy it I'm getting too old, too old to fall for fool's gold, fool's gold Oh no, oh no, oh, oh.